Thank you, Excellency Minister Raja, uh, Governor Diokuno, distinguished guests, colleagues. Thank you for joining us uh, for the third annual Southeast Asia Development Symposium. Our theme this year is, as Ramesh mentioned, sustainable solutions for Southeast Asia recovery. This is an in quite important topic because as Southeast Asia begins to emerge from the pandemic, we need to ensure that efforts to revitalize that region will lead us to a more resilient and prosperous future. I am excited by our uh, lineup of speakers uh, who will share their insights on this topic. We begin these discussions. Let me offer a few reflections on how we can work together to accelerate our efforts to support an inclusive and sustainable recovery. Let me begin with our work to promote a recovery that is inclusive. During the pandemic, ADB prepared a comprehensive $20 billion package to support government with financing for stimulus measures focused on the poor and vulnerable. ADB also launched a $9 billion Asia-Pacific vaccine access facility to help ensure swift and equitable access to vaccines. The recovery also needs to empower women and ensure that the economies work for everyone. To do this, we need to reinvigorate value chains and trading systems in ways that improve the lives of millions. Recovery in South Southeast Asia will also require a tourism industry that is revitalized. Last year, ADB established its new Southeast Asia Tourism Hub to help countries prepare environmentally sustainable tourism projects, support local entrepreneurs, and boost revenues. Today, we are pleased to announce the launch of the Tourism Hub website. Let me now turn to the importance of securing a recovery that is sustainable. To achieve this, we need to intensify our focus on climate change. In this regard, ADB has elevated our ambition to deliver 100 billion US dollars in cumulative climate financing between 2019 and 2030. We also revamped our energy policy to support the development of sustainable energy systems. In addition, we introduced several game-changing initiatives, such as our Energy Transition Mechanism, ETM, to help Southeast Asia move towards a low-carbon future. It is important to recognize that countries face an enormous task in financing recovery while contending with fiscal pressures uh, from the pandemic. In addition to our budget support during this extraordinary period, ADB is delivering important policy knowledge to help countries strengthen domestic resource mobilization. We are also working to enhance institutional capacities and international tax corporations like BEPS. Before I close, let me elaborate on the need for Southeast Asia to develop bold and innovative solutions for the unique challenges facing the region. To support this, ADB is launching a new study today, Southeast Asia rising from the pandemic. This very impressive report delivers important recommendations to foster recovery, including easing barriers to transport and trade, and boosting investments in education, training, health systems, social assistance, green infrastructure, and technology. Clear and focused efforts in these areas will ensure a more modern workforce, a safer and healthier population, greater protection for the most vulnerable, and stronger and more competitive businesses that are green and inclusive. Let me conclude by expressing my deep admiration for the way Southeast Asia has persevered through the pandemic. Many uncertainties remain, including the outbreak of conflicts that are causing great suffering and further setbacks to social and economic progress. But I firmly believe that our cooperation and creativity will allow us to emerge stronger than ever. Thank you very much for your attention.